Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's Gus. We got a Kuble. We're going to go do a boss fight. It's all about good with words, as you said. Yep, and I am so close to leveling up. I am, uh, oh, so am I. I'm very Don't close. Oh. Hi, girl who looks like the girl I knew from Dancing. Dancing Queen. <laughs> She's not in the, the Tamper Where's her spleen? I sold it. That's Wilhelm! Fuck him off! Wilhelm, you're playable one day. Oh wait, I don't want to use fire. I don't want to use fire. He's actually really fun to play as. That's awesome. I like how she said he killed us all. Wait, why would, uh... Wait, I I'm assuming that people know the story right now of Borderlands 2, right? Like, if I ruin it? Nah, you know what? Never mind. But, I'm gonna do it like this. Gus, you know how we know things about Wilhelm that our other people don't necessarily know? Why would the person who is with Wilhelm and stuff be like, I, I don't know how to... Oh, well, I can see his face! I've never actually seen his human face before. Yeah. Well, he's not all robot. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Wilhelm's about to die. Yep. Baba Goom! Baba Boom! Wilhelm dropped a power core. Be sure to grab it. My sensors tell me it's one of a kind. If you bring it to Roland, Sanctuary's shields may never need to be recharged again. <gasps> Whoa! Now I just understood what the question I was saying. Oh. Hey, you want to come see uh, Wilhelm's top half? Oh, yeah, I'll come over there. I'm just opening up other items real quick. You ain't got no legs. I'm gonna go help. Yeah, that's right. You ain't got no legs. Wow, bravo, champagne, cheers, high fives. Where is he? He's right here. Or is he not there on your screen? He's not here on my screen. Oh, he's here with no legs. Oh. Well, um, am I standing on him now? Uh, yep, yeah, you're like right on his elbow. Right here? Yep, you're right next to him, yeah. Where's, where's his head? Uh, scoot to your right. Yep, you are on his head. You slapped his butt. Or like his lower back. Of that. I don't know if his butt's attached. But yeah, he don't have no legs. <laughs> I am teabagging his, his legs. His legs are over here. Here's his legs. There's one there and one here. I see his legs. I see that here. And Wilhelm. Good night, sweet Wilhelm. You were playable once, and I very much would likely play as you. He's pretty fun. Nice. All right, we got more stuff. I'm just seeing if there's like any weaponry that we could pick up, but yeah. it, I'm finding just mostly ammunition everywhere. Oh, there's sanctuary over there. You can see it. Yeah. I'm looking for it. I can't. Hold on. Across the way here. Oh, well, that's sanctuary. I think so. Oh, interesting. Huh. I really Is like... that sanctuary or am I dumb? I, it could be sanctuary. Uh, comments, people. Let us know. Is that yeah, sanctuary? I'm... Yeah, that's sanctuary. I recognize the big structure in the middle. That's sanctuary. Uh, okay. Uh, fine. Fine. Just in, in allowing uh, people to be involved in our video making process, but no. No, I just wasn't sure if it was sanctuary for his overlook. <laughs> There's oh. the bridge that takes you there. Uh, I don't know, yeah. Oh. No, that yeah, that's sanctuary. Gotcha. Okay, well let's uh, let's head back over there. Okay. That'll be good fun. I'm a I got a level up and I'm super excited to use it. Specifically because this level up should allow me to do elemental elation, and so I think I'm gonna change up pain is power. Uh, actually, hold on. Elemental elation, nice. Alright, so now I get stacks of stuff. And I have to decide though if I want to switch up my um, mod. Let's compare it. Alright, so I will lose burn chance. Magazine size stays the same. I'll lose plus two pain is power, but I'll get plus two elemental elation when I do this. Let's give it a look, see. While elemental status effect damage is being done to enemies, you gain stacks of elemental elation. Fire rate magazine size increased for each stack of elemental elation. Stacks will not decay while you are on fire. Fire rate per stack. Mag size per stack. Max stats 20. Bad stacks. 1.5 and 2. You know what? I actually like Pain is Power over this at the moment. <laughs> at the moment, though. I may change my mind. Alright, you ready to head back to Sanctuary? Yeah, head it back. 
Get it back. Back to reality. <laughs> back to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Oop, there goes. How's that go? Palms are sweaty. Spaghetti. Palms spaghetti. Hot spaghetti. Oh, wait. Did you want to change your skills or are you good? Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to sell some stuff, though. Okay, you go do that. Tell me a story, Gus. <clears throat> okay, um... Once upon a time. Once upon a time, there were four ghosts who lived under the Iron Fist of Pac-Man. Oh. Whoa! Uh, tell me more. Uh, it's a straight-up Star Bomb song, so... <laughs> uh, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Like, does he have a car? Nope. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, I can tell you the story about uh, my return flight from RTX. Ooh, do, do tell. Uh, so, we were flying Austin to Atlanta to Fort Wayne. Uh -huh. And uh, we get from Austin to Atlanta just fine. Yeah. And then uh, we're in Atlanta. We have a couple hours to lay over, like an hour and a half, two hours. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse you. <laughs> and, uh... We're in the bathroom, and then I got a text from Delta saying, Your flight has been cancelled. So, uh, and they don't tell us why. So we go, uh, talk to, uh, one of the Delta representatives to get our flight all figured out. Right. And, like, okay, you're scheduled on a flight for noon tomorrow. Uh, here's your pass. We're not paying for your hotel. Whoa, that's ridiculous. Yeah, so, uh, I called my dad, and my dad was fine with it. He put some money on a, my card and said, go get a hotel, you know. And he said, like, uh, consider an engagement present. Go to a nice hotel. Go get, uh, have a nice dinner and stuff. Yeah. Because we had just got engaged the day before. Gotcha. And they were like, okay, uh, let's go to the, uh, the Sheraton here. This looks pretty good. So uh, we went there. And, uh, the ho like, there's a shuttle from the airport. Yeah. And we got get there, and the lobby looks really nice. And we're like, oh, this is good. Because we were on NBC Suites in, our, in Austin. Yeah. Which was fan-fucking-tastic. Awesome. So. And, was that uh, sarcasm, or was it actually far No, no, no. The, uh, the <laughs> NBC Suites actually was fan-fucking-tastic. I'm terrible great. with sarcasm, so I had to ask. No, no. I understand. Um, <laughs> like, big rooms... Like, only 170 or 180 a night. Nice. For a full suite. Uh, complimentary free breakfast, free cocktails. Mm. Fantastic room service, all this great stuff. So. That's really and it cool. wasn't, And it was only, like, half a mile from the convention center. So. Oh, wow. That's pretty sick. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. we do that, and then we get to the Sheraton. The lobby looks really cool. We are excited, you know, like, yeah, this will be nice. Mm. Uh, and we get upstairs, and uh, it's... It looks almost no different than, like, a Red Roof Inn. Oh, God. Like, the rooms are just so bland and crap and nothing really that good in them. <laughs> You're like, Fuck and you then guys. we're like, well, there was, a, there was a nice restaurant downstairs. Let's go there. Let's go have an, our nice engagement meal down there. All right. So we go down there. And, uh, you know what? Um, well, I'm, I'm going to wait until the story before we do this because the mission gets intense. Right. Um... I'm going to go exploring. So we go down there, and Caitlin's been wanting a martini all week. Yeah. And she had, we haven't been able to get one. And we get there, and the uh, waitress takes forever to come over and gets her order. Uh, Caitlin asks for a martini, and she gets it, and it's literally, like, pure gin. Like, no vermouth, no nothing. It's, like, gin and, like, two olives, and it's horrendous. <laughs> and, uh... Like, I tried a mouthful, it made my tongue vibrate. It was not good. <laughs> wow. Alright. And, uh, then, uh, we order our food, and, uh, she has to look at the menu twice. Like, actually look at the menu. The waitress, not Caitlin. Like, she looks at the menu. I ordered a chicken quesadilla. And she ordered a portobello mushroom sandwich. Like, that's not too hard. We didn't ask for anything specific on them. Just, like... Right. Just straight up, I want this, she wants that. And then Just she had to look at the down. menu. Uh, couldn't pronounce portobello, either. 
Uh, like she, portabile? She did, portabile. I'm not so much pronounced. I just think she, she didn't know what a portabella was. <laughs> Continue. This, this, I'm waiting forever. I'm waiting for when it gets bad because right it, now it sounds like a total joyride. And uh, takes forever. Like she just, we're waiting for probably 30, 40 minutes before our food arrives. And um, we also ordered uh, bacon and Brussels sprouts. It was like Brussels sprouts cooked with bacon. All right. Um, which were the only slightly good thing. It was the um, bacon. Yeah, the bacon Brussels sprouts were the only slightly good thing. Um, my quesadilla was so burnt that, and what wasn't burnt was bland, that Taco Bell is better. Wow. Like a $2.50 quesadilla from Taco Bell is better than this $15 quesadilla. And Caitlin's food, like I was just so hungry I ate it. Caitlin's food was so bad, she couldn't eat it. Jeez. Like it was just dreadful um thankfully they had a little gift shop so um uh also it was uh the whole meal ended up being about 50 bucks for this horrible service horrible food uh they got a three dollar tip <laughs> they got a tip at all i i honestly find a tiny tip sends a bigger message than no tip like maybe you forgot it kind of thing yeah but i specifically wrote down here's your three dollar tip yeah on a 50 dollar tab and Jeez. we go to the little gift shop they have, and uh, we get her like some cashews, and we go upstairs, and the cashews are dreadful. Cashews are shit. So I go back downstairs. No, I got her some cookies as well, but they were really dry, and I was looking for some milk. Uh, and they had a little cafe, which just, which I was able to get to before it closed. Uh -huh. Like a little coffee shop, Starbucks kind of thing. And uh, I got some milk there, and I, they had like a chicken wrap and some fruit, like a cup of fruit. So uh, I got her that. And went back upstairs, and the chicken wrap was pretty good. Kind of spicy, though. Like, surprisingly spicy. And we get her that, and it's good. And she gets the fruit and uh, moldy strawberry. Oh, wow. So, so I uh, go... This place sucks. Yeah, and I went... Also, I went back downstairs to get fresh fruit. Um, and she gave me another cup of fruit. Get back up to the room. Another moldy strawberry. So what I did... I went to the bathroom and meticulously went through and washed every piece of fruit. Jeez. And checked everything. We'll, we'll do this thing now. Gotcha. So. Shit. So yeah, it was awful. And Caitlin is usually a very calm, relaxed person. Right. And she left the nastiest note in the room and, like, emailed the hotel and called corporate. Wow. Like, she was pissed. Quite understandably. Yeah. I think it was also just the whole event of the whole day. Yeah. Our flight being canceled, and we just want to go home and all this crap. Because the weekend had been fan fucking tastic before then. Oh yeah. Um. For those who don't know, uh, Angel just betrayed us. She's been working with Jack. So the, the whole Wilhelm kill thing was a goal to get us to put the power core in this and take it down. Yep. So yeah. Oh god, panic! Yeah, other than that, um, the RTX trip was awesome. We went a bit earlier and got to see Omar Austin. It's really cool. I met some friends who live down there. Kublai, you still there? Sorry, I'm listening to the story. Okay, I wasn't sure if my audio just died. No, sorry. I was like, oh god, he's not hearing me. We'll talk more after this. <laughs> Man, you guys just had a, the most wonderful customer service experience ever. Yeah. It's just like, oh, are you having a shitty day? Good. You having a shittier day? Let's help that. Yeah, and then Delta didn't pay for our flight. Or they paid for the flight, but they didn't pay for our hotel. They're supposed to write you a check for three times the uh, ticket price. The yeah, they uh, didn't. Somewhere. So. That's uh, that's like worth texting them and be, or no, tweeting them and being like, hey, this is what happened. Um, I exp like could you we get like some actual customer service and uh, they might actually be like oh yeah like that sucks we're really sorry about that what also was great that was um our baggage got to Fort Wayne our bag uh, got a direct flight from Atlanta to Fort Wayne that night wow Monday night uh, we had to wait till Tuesday at noon to go to Detroit to go to Fort Wayne 
Jesus. It sucks. But RTX was great, aside from uh, Caitlin hurt her foot. Aww. So we, she had to be in a wheelchair for the actual convention. Oh no. But because she was in a wheelchair, we got VIP seating for every panel we went to. Nice. So we were right up front for the Ruby panel. Uh-huh. And the patch and Crow Jared and Griffball and all that stuff, and it was great. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, we got to use the staff elevator. And we got to meet Carrie Shawcross, the director of Ruby. Oh, very cool. In the staff elevator. <laughs> oh, that's cool to meet Carrie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you watch Ruby? I do. That's um. I mean, it's it's an okay anime, yeah. but I, I kind of watch yeah. it just because I really liked the oh. I, the fighting scenes. Like, I oh yeah, the fighting really scenes cool. are great. And um, Caitlin was cosplaying as Neptune, who Carrie voices. Oh, that's I've awesome. Never used this much. And Carrie was like, "That's an awesome costume of me." <laughs> and like we were in the elevator with Carrie and a few other people. Oh, that's and, awesome. Uh, we're in the elevator, because it's on like the sixth floor. We were going to the first, they got off at like the third. An and we're just like, yeah, hey, you know, thanks, it's really cool. You know, great show, looking forward to next season. And then they get out the elevator and the elevator closes and Caitlin's just like, that didn't just fucking happen. It was so cool. And people were really nice and accommodating with a wheelchair, I just threw a grenade. Ignore that. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it just went off my off the corner of my screen. But aside from the whole return flight, it was an absolutely fantastic game. And of course, we got engaged. So. Which is fantastic. Yeah. Also, uh. Yeah, I, I realized I just talked over the one of the biggest points of the game about my vacation, so yeah, I'm totally... I'm not self-centered! It's called narcissistic Look empathy. Look at me! Just get to the fridge. I'm the hero! <laughs> I detect Lilith might have phased your city there. Narcissistic empathy is uh, what comes to mind where you're like, man, I actually that's not true entirely. I'm running on your head this entire time. We were just perfectly timed. It was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Teamwork makes a dream work, baby. Teamwork makes a dream work. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, should we... What's, what's our timer at? Uh, it, it passed a while ago, but we talked for a while. So okay, I'd... well, let's call it here. You sure? We haven't yep. really... We didn't really shoot anything. I guess we had a boss fight. You're full of zeros. Uh, full of oh, the numbers! Do you it, see the numbers on your screen? They feel so good. I see the red on my screen. Okay. All right, we, all right, we can call it here if you think yep. it's a okay. I think that's good, but we got we have to do our final fight. I'm ready, good sir. I challenge you. You want to spar? Oh, killy duckily, neighbor. All right, fight. Thank you. Oh, it doesn't bounce off the wall. My grenade's just going forever. Oh, sorry, I cheated. Now I'm just gonna have to do this for the entire time it takes for my thing to go away. <laughs> there we go. I see you just running around, it's like dead silence. <laughs> no, I'm gonna burn, burn, burn. I fell There's into meat. a burning ring of Maya. She burned, burned, <laughs> burned, and I felt higher. Or from, no, burn, burn, burned from the fire. Yeah, there we go. Let's run fire with fire. Uh, or yeah. Chill. Fire and fire. Oh, no, no, you did rhyme fire with Maya. Never mind. Yes. I'm the chump. Thank you. Well, well, join us next time on Chump Grumps. Chump Grumps? One day. Ah! Fuck you. All right, see you later, dudes. It's super joy to have you here. Come by again. Hear random stories is cool. Uh, Gus, you have anything you want to say? Dang it, Delta. Ah, see ya. Bye.